Yo, what's up, lads and ladies? Um, something kind of crazy here, and I'm pretty sure this is a mistake. Um, but I'm gonna make a video on it anyway, because I think this is crazy. Uh, if you see the date here, this is the 11th of June. Uh, for context, today is not the 11th of June, it is the 5th of June. Um, so this has been posted early, by the looks of it. Uh, but these are the patch notes for Go West. Uh, which is the new Maple Story patch uh, that is coming out in the summer for us. Um, and it goes over a bunch of stuff. Um, so we're just going to go over a couple, like, things at the top first to show what they are. Um, the AB Remaster, High Mountain, which is the dungeon in uh, Cernium. Legion Artifact, uh, which we know is the new system uh, to help us gain the final damage back that we will be losing as a result of Monster Life being deleted. Um, and the final damage in Reboot being reduced. Uh, the Solar to Booster Plus, which is like a second uh, booster on top of the booster. Presets, uh, fifth job improvements, and then a bunch of new skills, uh, bug fixes, items, like boss improvements. There's a ton of stuff in this. There's a ton of stuff in this. So this might be a bit of a long video. Um, Hyper Burning, Terra Blink, which is for Hyper Burning. Burning World, which is basically for Reg Server. Um, Dreamer, so we're getting a 0 to 100. Uh, the whole of the Dreamer event, which will go over bits and bobs, and I'll make a bunch of videos as these come out, because there's a crazy amount of stuff in Dreamer. Uh, go West, uh, which is, like, the ongoing, like, Go West, like, crazy, like, GMS exclusive. Um, Background Idol event. Uh, Sunny Sunday, which is, uh, has a Shining Star Force. I spoil it now, there is a Shiny. Um, and then Spell Trace Fever, Miracle Time, and then Bug Fixes and stuff. Uh, but first of all... Uh, AB Remaster, uh, AB's, uh, charge system is being removed, um, and she is becoming a, mon uh, mana point class, like, basically the rest of the cast. Um, her, uh, Terms and Conditions, which is her link skill, uh, has been reduced to a 60 second cooldown. Um, so this is crazy, um, because now AB link is 60 seconds instead of, uh, 90 seconds. So imagine yourself with, like... Um, 200% buff duration, you're going to have like a 30 second um, AB link on a basically 50% uptime of a massive damage buff, which is crazy. Um, and then there's a bunch of skill stuff about AB herself, all of the skills being changed. Uh, if you are an AB main, I recommend looking into these um, and bits and bobs. Me personally, I don't play AB, so I have no interest in these, um, but there's a ton of crazy stuff. Um, about, like, AB, all, all the story quests changing as well. They're, like, redoing the dragon guy. He's, like, he's, like, no longer a pervert or something. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, High Mountain. Uh, so what High Mountain does uh, is it's, like, a Monster Park mini dungeon in uh, Cernium where you will get fragments uh, and you will get Soul Erda. Uh, every week and there's a bunch of stages there's free boss stages um and then the rest are mobbing stages where you and uh mitra the sun god you can play as him as well um and you two will go through the monsters and the fight um and kill various monsters and different stuff um and you'll get a reward at the end of exp uh erda and fragments if you are in interactive world um you can pay maple points to increase uh, the amount of the rewards you get. Uh, this is not available in Heroic um, and only available in the Interactive World. Um, so this is like an element of pay to win that people were kind of hesitant about um, to have in uh, Heroic. So they've said, no, we're not putting it in Heroic. Uh, your basic 1x reward, uh, so what everyone is going to get every week for doing it, um, your 1x reward is going to be 1 Soul Erda um, and 10 Fragments. Uh, and then in Heroic, you're going to be getting 40 Fragments uh, every week. Uh, which I believe in Korea this was 30, so I think this has been buffed, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, Legion Artifact, this is a really cool system, it's upcoming. Uh, basically, all of the things you've done in the game will give you experience to level up this artifact system. Um, if you've seen a previous video I've done, and I'll link it in the top right about the Legion Artifact system, um, there's a bunch of special missions and existing things on legacy content in the game, all of like story quests um, and everything that exists currently. Um, that you can use to increase your artifact system before the system actually comes out to the game. Um, you will also get weekly, uh, like login le weekly, you'll get EXP, like bossing and mobbing weekly, you will get like EXP. So you don't need to worry about doing all of those uh, special missions. Um, but there is a bunch of like ways you can speed up your progress and get to like the max power of your character. Um, and then this is just showing like how the system works. Um, so you need uh, two crystals to max out. Uh, one stat. So for example, if I want to max out my crit damage increase, um, I will need two crystals 
because each crystal can go to level 5, um, and you need a level 10 total, but you can't put the same stat on like twice on the same crystal. Um, so for example, um, if I am level 10 artifact, I have four usable crystals. Um, assuming I can get uh, all four to level five, uh, I will max out six stacks um, on four crystals. Six stats, because you have two crystals with three stats each. Um, and then, yeah, very, very easy. Uh, Monster Life being removed for uh, reg server players. Uh, so Monster Life is just gone. Uh, Monster Life was a terrible system anyway. I absolutely hated it. Uh, when I played reg. Uh, presets. Presets are awesome. You can now have a bossing preset, like a drop preset. And this works the same as a, like the cash preset in the game right now, where you can just swap. Uh, you can also put it on a like hotkey and like character presets. This one, uh, where you can just instantly select um, any preset instantly. Yeah, yeah. You can change to a specific character preset by pressing the swap preset hotkey and a number one to five. Uh, this is awesome. There's also more Legion presets. Um, outfit presets have also been improved, which is very really good. Uh, v Matrix, you can now bulk use Node Stones instantly um, instead of opening Node Stone, Node Stone, Node Stone, Node Stone, Node Stone, Node Stone. You can now just Node Stone open 500 instantly, which is sick. Um, really crazy. Um, and then also you have an Enhance All button where like any nodes or locked nodes that you have um, will just be leveled up to the maximum level in like two clicks. Instead of like clicking one node, max all, clicking one node, select all, level, clicking one node, select all, level. You just instantly uh, do this. Uh, there's a bunch of skill fixes and bug fixes as well. Um, you can go through these if you want to. There's a, there's a ton of stuff in this um, about like skills appearing awkwardly. Um, the skill damage of uh, Urda Shower and Urda Fountain increases as much as the final damage that increases for following skills. So basically, they've made Shadow Partners um, affect uh, Urda Fountain, as an example. I believe this will also apply to Soul Janus. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on it. Um, but for example, Dawn Warrior, my cycle, um, will now basically double the lines of uh, Urda Fountain, which is sick. Um, so any class with a, like, blue blood, any class with any kind of, like, FD increasing, like, Shadow Partner-esque style skill um, will benefit uh, on their summon damage, which is very nice. Uh, certain movement skills, blah, blah, blah. There's, look, there's a ton of stuff in here, dude. There's an absolute ton of stuff in here. Um, they've changed a bunch of things for, like, a bunch of classes. Uh, so I would recommend reading through all of, you, all of these uh, if you are interested. Um, and I will link the post in the comments below. But there is a ton of, like, balancing changes and things like that. Um, Corsair, Blaze Wizard. Is there anything for Dawn Warrior? Uh, Dawn oh, so this is the origin change as well, right? So Dawn Warrior. Um, Chase Astral Blitz. So basically, this is the line split on all of our origin skills, right? Um, so the number of lines that we're doing is being increased. Um, but the damage percentile is obviously being decreased. Because more lines equal, like, more damage. So less lines to equal it out as it is to now. Um, so this is a buff for in the future when your character is like hard capping on everything. You're just doing more lines. Um, so this is nice to see. Um, but for some classes, I think directly now it's like a nerf off the top of my head. I remember it's Shadower, um, Fire Poison, and Lara, I think, are the ones that are getting um, like instantly nerfed. Um, but there's a bunch of other changes in here as well. Uh, things like Kadena. Like, look at all of this, right? Um, I would recommend looking in this post for your class. Oh, there's some Kana stuff as well. There's a bunch of stuff for... Uh, for the Sengoku classes. And these are new as well. We haven't uh, seen these in any other server, of course. Um, Spirit's Domain. A Spirit Stone will be resummoned when the duration is still up upon reviving after dying using Spirit's Domain. Uh, fix the error of stacks being visible to party members that are receiving this buff. Okay. Um, instant Slice. Uh, you can't use it on a rope anymore. Um, different effects. Fix an issue with a sound didn't play. Bato message will display when there are no enemies nearby. Okay. Um, very nice. Lin. Decrease the time for auto attack skills to not activate after using source flow. Okay. Awesome. Um, a bunch of uh, quest things. Right. This is a massive one. Um, so you can now accept Arcane River and Grandest Daily Quests in batches. Um, so you can just instantly accept all of your sacred dailies. Um, instead of just doing like, okay, I'm going to accept Arcus, I'm going to accept Odium, I'm going to accept uh, Shangri-La, and then Arteria, and then Carcian. You can just accept all of them instantly, um, which is sick. And, and the same thing obviously works for um, Arcane River. Um, if you are still doing Arcane River dailies, uh, I mean, I will be on my Hyperburn when this comes out. 
Um, and then a bunch of like story quest lines, voice lines, um, a bunch of stuff to do with Pantheon. Um, they're changing uh, Heroes of Maple. Um, and they are redoing uh, the story and adding in a bunch of uh, references to other parts of the lore. Um, because they're basically setting up what's going to happen after um, our current Grandis cycle, which will probably be released in the KMS Summer Update. This is like the start of that. Um, and then they added in a bunch of like achievements, a bunch of cool stuff. More quests in Helysium, dude. Uh, item improvement and bug fix. Uh, extreme growth potions can now be used from level 130. This is a massive one. Uh, so you no longer have to get a character to 141 to use an extreme growth potion. Um, they changed the appearance of a bunch of items. A bunch of like angelic buster stuff. More angelic bu Angelic busters can receive limit cut, mana cut, crisis HM in heroic world. Obviously because they are now a... Um, uh, what's it called? They are now a MP class. Uh, HP MP has been added to Yeti Pink Bean Bog. Uh, <laughs> um, and then a bunch of other stuff about mounts and like stuff. Uh, pets. Like ba basically just go through all of this, dude. There's so much stuff here. But what I want to get into um, is this one, right? The boss improvement and bug fixes. Um, so bosses can now drop a new uh, EXP accumulation potion. This is a 20% EXP uh, 30 minute uh, pot. This is better than a full eep and a small eep uh, by 10% EXP. Um, and you need four eeps to craft this plus a uh, brilliant dusk essence and something else, probably a philosopher's stone. Um, so it's quite expensive to make. Um, but if you can, you have a ton of uh, dusk essences. This is awesome. Uh, boss UI. Uh, so the limit to enter uh, bosses has been removed. Um, so you can now just like spam enter. Uh, a boss, uh, even if you fail, like, three times, because currently, say I fail C. Kalos, um, I cannot re-enter C. Kalos, right? Um, but now, like, if I fail C. Kalos three times, now, um, that's, like, not a thing anymore. Um, there's also no more pre-quest for Lotus and Damien. Um, the daily entry limit has been removed from Barrog and all weekly monthly bosses, um, so you can, like, fail Black Mage unlimited amount of times until you go in, assuming you have the keys. Uh, the prerequisite quest for uh, a catchy has been removed, so a catchy no longer has a prequest. Um, fixed an issue where bosses could be defeated after failing uh, in the following boss battles. Uh, Gloom, his hitbox has been increased by approximately 40%. Um, so the Gloom hitbox is like basically on the floor now. <laughs> um, and then a bunch of like various hitboxes or like hit uh, bug fixes for Darknell, um, for Kaling, Vihila, Will. Lucid. Um, there's a bunch of crazy stuff here, like Ran Maru. <laughs> uh, map improvements. Uh, only characters occupying and using Sacred Power Field can summon runes. Uh, the character that summoned the rune can use them, and the runes aren't visible to other players. So runes are now instanced, um, which is really cool. Um, there is also changes in how some of the runes work, uh, like Giant Pot. A uh, giant rune will no longer instantly transform you into a giant and you just take a potion instead. Um, the lightning rune is now like a crazy thing, um, which is really cool. Uh, elite monsters um, and elite curse are back in... Uh, what's it called? Sacred power. Uh, sacred maps. So you can now see elite mobs in like Arteria, Carcian, that kind of stuff, um, which is very cool. Uh, there's a bunch of like bug fixes. Um, they changed the layout of uh, Arcane River and a bunch of maps in Arcane River just to make them more like player friendly and easier to grind in um, or like more condensed, uh, which is really nice. Really, really nice. And then more bug fixes, bro, of like a bunch of different classes. Um, the And this is a big one that we're going to talk about, right? Um, the Heroic World passive... Um, has been changed, right? And it has been reduced from... They did this in Korea as well. It's been reduced from 65% that we have currently um, to 45%. Um, and the, their reasoning for this was the Legion Artifact uh, system, which we're not really sure why this is the thing. It kind of sucks. Because um, it ba it's basically just like a nerf for no reason by, the, by, the, by like the feel of it. I understand their mindset of like not wanting players to become too strong by releasing um, the Artifact system on top of the nerf. Um, but, you know, I'm not really a fan of this. Um, it's never fun to be weaker uh, than you already are. It's, like, always just a bad experience. Uh, which, you know, is just the way it works, unfortunately. Uh, they have also added, uh, when resetting potentials or bonus potentials, you can now roll free line of the following stats. So you can now get 
free line IED, free line boss damage, and free line drop rate. And you might be like, wow, this is really cool. Um, but in my opinion, this is kind of bad because I never want free line boss and I never want free line IED. Um, so my WSC, my we weapon secondary and emblem, um, has just become harder to perfect. Um, or more expensive in a way, because there's just now more lines that can blow up the pool um, of uh, what I'm looking for. Which is, you know, kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, Mesa Market has, like, the exchange rate has been added. They now have, like, a recommended exchange rate. Auction House has been changing. Uh, Sweetwater Equipment uh, now has a PSOC count, which is crazy, by the way. So I can now sell my Triple Prime uh, Sweetwater uh, face by just like putting a uh, a peace sock on it, which is awesome. Uh, emotes can now be used in boss battles. <laughs> uh, you now have like an emote tab which you can use for like constantly used emotes. This will be good for me. Uh, monster collection improvements. Uh, you get more stuff. Achievement improvements. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Soul order is now tradable in interactive world. Uh, Soul order is now tradable in interactive world, uh, which is crazy by the way. Um, also, the nodes that they pick up is uh, tradable as well, instead of having to use them and then decraft them, and then you get a tradable version. Okay, Hyper Burning Plus! Uh, this is Hyper Burning, um, but the Hyper Burning that we get is... I mean, this song is nice, but give me something better, bro. The, the Hyper Burning that we get has something called Terra Blink, um, and Terra Blink is like a 0 to 200, like instantly, um, on the Hyper Burning character. Um, and then Hyper Burn is just like until 260, which is awesome. Uh, really, really nice for like making a new a character, making a like a new boss mule, making a new main, uh, making a second main, that kind of thing. Uh, there's also growth support for these characters. Uh, so they get rings. Uh, you get like a free craft set, uh, like an Eternal Flame Ring, which is just a nice uh, ring uh, frozen set. Um, and then you get symbols and uh, node stones, which is awesome. Uh, level 220, you get either a Dominator or an Absolab weapon, which is great. Um, a bunch of stuff. Hyper Burning titles, an outfit, uh, more symbols, more symbols, more node stones, more symbols, uh, selectors, like a ton of stuff. Um, another title, like a ton of stuff. <laughs> um, we also get in our level 260, we get a medal. You get a fake arcane weapon of your class um, and then a sacred selector as well. Uh, which can go up to Shangri-La, which is really nice. Terra Blink is the thing I mentioned about getting the character to 200 instantly, um, and then has a bunch of quests that come with it as well. Um, Burning World, this is for reg server players. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Burning World, you cannot transfer into uh, Heroic, uh, I believe. It's been a very long time since I've used Burning World. I'm not really interested in Burning World either, unfortunately. Burning World Leap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, only be transferred to Reg Server Worlds, so not interested. Uh, Dreamer, 0 to 100. So for those people that are lacking on some Legion or looking for uh, seven free characters to level 100, this is a really good e like event to just get yourself uh, seven level 100 characters. This is really good for new accounts. This is really good for like low Legion players. Or if you just want to make like a new character, right? Just getting it to 100 instantly and some free gear is really nice. This is really, really good. Dreaming Latchlin is a uh, dreamer which is the lucid event uh so we have a weekly there's a, a basically i'm gonna make a ton of videos on like what is in this um but there is a massive like login track with a crazy amount of items bro there's so much stuff in this i'm not gonna go over it in this video we're gonna do it in a separate video but there's tons in this um and there is also a new growth potion a transcendent growth potion uh which goes up to 270 um a, a more weekly stuff. There's a crazy amount of EXP vouchers in this. Um, I believe the total amount of EXP vouchers we can get from this is like 66,000 or something. Um, yeah, there's just like loads of stuff, dude. Uh, this is the uh, uh, this event skill tree where you get a bunch of stats, as you can see on the screen. Um, and there's also a really crazy one after that, which is this one here, uh, which is like a new thing. Um, and it's on a secondary, like bottom part of the skill tree. Um, and it will give you these, like, selectable stats that you can use in these content. Um, so, for example, you'll see the one which gives you more sacred symbols. <laughs> so, it will increase the amount of EXP you obtain from your sacred dailies. And uh, it will give you uh, more stuff, which is just really cool. 
Uh, I'm just in getting an MPE real party. Uh, real quick. I had to ask someone to carry me MPE because I'm making a video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's tons of stuff here. Um, tea party. There's more stuff, dude. Bro, look, we'll, we'll make bits and bobs on this when it comes out. Um, but there is a crazy, just basically everything gives you tons of EXP. Everything, like this Tomatini is the Punch King. The Punch King is absolutely ludicrously OP. Uh, Monster Arcade is like a mini game thingamajig. Um, so like one card, yeah, coming soon, whatever this is. I don't know. <laughs> I hate yeah, by the way. <laughs> okay, one card, thinking of you, yacht, seesaw, uh, Gold Richie's Treasure Hunt, which is like a VIP booster thing. And then Gold Richie's Safe. Um, if you've played the Safe event before, um, this is the pick a number, like anywhere, and the lowest number wins the reward. I won a damage skin from this last time. Yeah, here's the example of how it works. Um, and there's a ton of stuff in here. Again, a bunch of VAC pets. Um, there's also like Growth Potions, Medal of Honors, uh, Black Flames, uh, M Lucid, Magnificent Souls, um, like more pets, more uh, Soul Order, Soul Order Fragments, um, Mag Pots. There's a ton of stuff in these. Because um, there's two safes this time. One with in-game items and one with cosmetics. Um, Reverie Fragment Shop. This is the coin shop. Um, so 3x as you can see here. Uh, we get 5 2x coupons and 2 3x coupons per day. Plus VIP buffs in the daily shop. Um, fragment Shop. I think this is the uh, minigame shop. Yes, with all the cosmetics. Um, and then the Night Fragment Shop, which is the bossing shop. It has a list of like what bosses you can do. Um, and then all of this. So there's more sacred symbols in here, which is awesome. Uh, 20 Carcian, 20 Art or 30 Arteria. Why? Bro, two days, bro. Come on, give us more Carcian. Uh, 50 Shangri-La, 80 Odium, 150 Arcus, and 250 Cernium. Bro, the Cernium and the Arcus are useless for me. I mean, the Odium will be as well. Like, these top three are useless for me. I've maxed these symbols now, man. Give me some more of these, bro. Give me some more of these. Uh, Meso Shop. There is a ton of stuff in the Meso Shop. The Meso Shop is like a skip. In my opinion, because I play Reboot. Like, half this stuff's really expensive. Uh, cosmetics. And then this is the exclusive um, Reboot one, right? Go West. Um, so kill a thousand monsters per day. Uh, um, and you will get be able to go to, like, a show, right? And each show corresponds to an area in the Maple World where you can select different rewards. Uh, you can select three of the five different areas to watch a show. And each area will give rewards based on a set probability. Um, so if you remember the uh, picking a snack thing from Minar Forest. I mean, it literally like the Minar Forest thing. So it's like growth potions, honor medals, nodes, symbols, and black flames. It's like the Minar Picnic um, pick your reward. Um, Showtime, uh, which is a odd even like hour thing where you either get EXP buff or you get a bossing buff. Uh, Star Q uh, is like a login thing, I believe. Uh, participate in Star Q where you receive exclusive items and rewards uh, just for staying online. This event has two seasons. So yeah, you basically just stay online um, and you'll get a bunch of stuff. Um, there's like a bunch of cosmetics. There is a, uh, a CPP, which is a free VAC pet, um, an outfit for all of them. Uh, another, another VAC pet, uh, a bunch of cash items, cash weapons. Uh, a chair, hair, damage skin, custom dye, uh, two mag pots, a jumpsuit, Dr. Lim, boots, uh, 30 growth potions, uh, 10 EXP nodes. Uh, there's just a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, 7,000, thank you. This is on the day, on the 7,000th day, uh, we get like a unit damage skin, um, a cape, a mount, um, and a chair, which is really nice. Um, come back, this is for AB. Uh, which when you make an AB, you will get like a free reward track. If you're just on the AB, you'll get a bunch of free stuff, uh, which is really nice. And then Sunny Sundays, bro. Uh, you see right here, like, like Rooney XP, awesome. This one here, Sunny Sunday, dude, is a shining star force on the 23rd of June. So keep that one noted. Um, this one is like for like everyone. This is going to be fantastic for uh, items. Uh, so 30% off and 5, 10, 15 at the same time. This is fantastic. Another Rooney XP, um, a 10 plus, a 30% off again afterwards, um, and then Spell Trace Fever. And then at the end, it has like to be decided. Um, but yeah, this is just a skim 
of the patch notes. And you'll be like, wow, it's a skim. Uh, there is so much in Dreamer that we're going to have to make another video about this, bro. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll post this in the uh, comments just so you guys can see it. Because uh, I'm pretty sure they might take this post down. Because it definitely shouldn't have gone up yet. Because at the top, uh, it is dated um, the 11th. Which I can tell you, today is not the 11th, bro. <laughs> today is not the 11th. So... <laughs> Yeah. Right. I'll see you guys tomorrow and have a good evening. Peace.